Dear students, namaste and welcome to today's English class of grade 7. Today we are in unit 16 and dealing with reading I, I, second text. Okay, so let's begin. What's there? Okay, birthday, happy birthday. Okay. Uh, we are going to sing a birthday song. Okay, let's sing a birthday song. Let's sing, sing together, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear friend. Happy birthday to you. May God bless to you. May God bless to you. May God bless to you, my dear friend. May God bless to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, we have sang, we sang a very nice happy birthday song. Why did we sing this song? Any guess? Yes, our lesson is related with birthday. What do you do in your birthday? Can you tell me what you do in your birthday? Or what did you do in your last birthday? Whenever birthday, the word is in our mouth, a picture starts to appear in our imagination. What comes, in our, what comes into our head? Yes, cake, right? A nice cake, balloons, lots of gifts right so both the celebration is related with all those things and okay let me tell you what did i do in, on my last birthday okay so as we discussed already yes there were lots of balloon my room was decorated with balloon and then i got many gifts i invited my uh, friends at home, I gave a party to them and then they brought me many gifts. So this is how I celebrated my birthday. Is it the same with you? Maybe, right? So we celebrate our birthday uh, with happiness by uh, cutting a cake and then with um, birthday song, wishing birthday song, right? So my friends wished me happy birthday and they sang birthday song for me. So in this way, we celebrate our birthday. Or maybe uh, some of you have different type of birthday, right? A different way of celebrating it. Some of you might celebrate it in a different way. So uh, anyway, how the person in our today's reading second celebrated his birthday. We are going to read that. All right. Okay. Here it goes. Reading two. Reading two. Okay. We can see a picture. Do you? And there are two questions. Let's solve this. Do you or anyone you know celebrate birthdays? Of course, we do celebrate our birthdays and our friends also celebrate uh, their birthday, right? We wish uh, happy birthday to uh, their birthday on the, on the occasion of our friend's birthday. Our family members also celebrate birthday, right? So many people celebrate their birthday with great happiness. Number B, what do they do on their birthdays? Okay, yes. As we discussed earlier, people celebrate their birthday with happiness by cutting cake or maybe some people might go to temple, right? Or taking blessings from our elders. So there might be different ways of celebrating birthday. Okay, now what does the text suggest? How uh, did he celebrate birthday? Let's see. What is the title of our reading second? A party in a restaurant. Okay, party in a restaurant. Let's read the text and find out about how was the party. It was my birthday last Thursday 
and I decided to celebrate it by inviting a few friends out to supper. Okay, it was a writer's birthday and he decided to celebrate his birthday, okay, to make it a happy occasion. So he decided to celebrate it, invited his friends to uh, supper. Uh, it is evening meal or dinner, we call supper to evening meal or dinner. So he decided to give dinner to his friends. I choose a restaurant in a quiet part of town. So he chose a restaurant which was quiet. It is one of my favorite restaurants. So it was his favorite restaurant because the food is good and waiters are friendly. It is hardly ever crowded because few people know about it. The restaurant was in the quiet place and many people didn't know about it and not so much. It didn't used to be so crowded. So it is not usually necessary to book a table. So uh, before going to any restaurant, um, it's better you if you book the table already beforehand. So what happened if you book beforehand, then you don't need to worry about the seat. But the restaurant the writer chose was uh, not so much, uh, it didn't used to be crowded, so he, didn't not, he did not book the table. In any case, Thursday is not a busy evening as a rule and there was a rule, Thursday evening it didn't used to be very busy. Okay, so I have made this uh, diagram uh, as a, like you would be very quick to understand this paragraph. Like writer decided to celebrate his birthday at a restaurant. Why did he choose the restaurant? Because it was his favorite and the food shop there uh, are good, good, good food is available and the waiters are friendly. And it, that restaurant was hardly ever crowded. It was, it didn't used to be crowded. That's why the restaurant was chosen. Now we are moving to the next paragraph. I hope you are ready. Good. Okay. Next paragraph. When we entered the restaurant, I was surprised to find it completely full. That means it was not as usual. It was different on that day. I looked around, but not a single table was free. Table was not free because it was not booked, right? One of the waiters recognized me. I recognized Neo because he used to go there. That's why the waiter recognized him. He came across and explained the situation. What was the situation? What was going on that day? That day the waiter told to the writer. A party of tourists came in about half an hour ago. So half an hour ago, there was a party of rest, uh, tourist. Tourist came. He said it was like an invasion. Invasion means it's just like attack, you know, or all of the suddenly, sudden, there was a group of people. Suddenly, the place was full. That's why the place was full and we can hardly manage. Who said this? We can hardly manage? All those things? Yes. The uh, waiter. Waiter told all those things to the writer. Okay. He recognized the writer and told them about, told him about the situation, what was going on there because the writer was really puzzled what was going on. So, um, within this paragraph, what you are to get, you will be very quick to understand with these points. Like writer uh, entered the restaurant, it was full because a group of tourists came there before and hardly could manage the table. So, table was, um, all the table were booked already by the tourist. Tourist were covering all the table and writer, writer and his friend did not get any table. Okay. Then, what happened? The waiter then pointed to a table in the corner. Okay. 
pointed to the corner and said, the people there are just about to leave. The people there were just about to going to go, going to go. And he said, just hold on, just hold on. Don't worry, they were going to leave and you will find a place there and there will be place. He was right. 15 minutes later, after entering the restaurant, 15 minutes later, they got the, uh, got the table. The people at the corner table paid, the, paid their bill, got up and left. I laid my friends across and we all sat down. How would you feel when you go to a restaurant with your friends and then you do not get table? Really embarrassed, isn't it? You would not like that. Anyway, they got the table after 50, even after 15 minutes, right? So we can sum up like, uh, okay, the people left 15 minutes later, they entered at the corner table. It was the table at the corner and the writers led his friends to the table. They got the table and then they went there. After that, what might happen? Okay, unfortunately, our table was almost out of sight. They got the table, but it was out of sight. The um, waiters did not notice much, that means. We tried to attract the attention of the waiter who sent us there, but he, like all the other waiters, was busy with the party of tourists. So they were trying to uh, catch the attention of the waiters, but Unfortunately, none of them could um, pay attention to them as they were busy in the, with other, on other people, with tourists. That's why they did not get much, they did not get attention at all. Not only much, they did not get attention at all. And then they ordered enormous quantities of food. They mean tourists. The another party, they, they ordered quantities of amount of food, lots of food they order and but at the at last nearly an hour later at last an hour after going uh, uh, see after sitting they sat for an hour about an hour after an hour what happened the tourists were finishing their meal <laughs> tourists were having meal and they were about to finish their meal and looking very pleased with life. The tourists were looking so happy because they were served food. The waiter, the waiter now very tired, appeared at our table. Then finally, waiter came to their table. So table was out of sight, their table was out of sight. Waiters were busy serving tourists only and tired waiter appeared. So tired waiter appeared at last in front of them. Then I advised my friends about the best dishes and finally the waiter went off with our order. So an hour later they ordered their food and uh, he advised best dishes, best good good foods over there, whatever good foods speciality of that restaurant was there, writer knew about it. So writer ordered, writer suggested uh, the food, um, best foods available, which is uh, usually served over there, ordered and then waiter took the order and went off, went. A few moments later, a few moments later, what happened? Can you make a guess? He came back to our table. Who came? Who came back? Yes, the waiter came back. We could understand from his face that he had bad news for us. Full of apologies. So what might be the apologies? Can you make a guess? Yes, he informed us that there was no meat or fish left. Everything was finished. No meat, no fish left. All we can offer you, he said, is an omelette. And he said, okay, we could just, they were full of apologies. 
who were waiters. Waiter was uh, full of apologies, full of be being guilty. The waiter replied that the, they could not supply them food, just uh, omelette was left. And this was the situations, situation. They ordered best food, waiter came back with apologies, no meat, fish, left only omelette. See how unlucky they was it, right? It was very unlucky. They, they got very, uh, he was so excited to celebrate his birthday, took his friend to the um, restaurant, but it was, what happened? It was in vain, right? He could not celebrate well because first of all what happened? He went to the restaurant, he did not get the table. 15 minutes later he got the table but what happened? Waiters did not notice. Waiters did not notice after an hour waiters came but he was tired and when uh, he gave order of the best food what happened? He went but came with, oh yes, came with sad fish because there wasn't the food they ordered. So this was the situation, embarrassing situation that uh, the writer faced. Yes, sometimes it happens. We try to make our birthday as special as possible. but. Uh, whenever, if, even if we try our best, sometimes it happens, right? Okay, now we have done with this text. Now we are moving to exercises. Are you ready? All right, let's move to exercises. So what is there in the exercises? Exercise A, let's see, let's check out what is there. Okay, number A. Find and write the words from the text which mean the following. Uh, make it a happy occasion, new, wait, going to amounts. Okay, so while ex, uh, we were going through the text, these meanings, we have already dealt with the words and meanings over there. Now we are to guess the equivalent word for the given meaning. So let's start with number A. Are you ready? Okay, number A. Make it a happy occasion. Okay, what word would fit with this meaning? What is a word? Yes, the word for the given meaning is celebrate. Celebrate means make it a happy occasion. We celebrate our birthday we celebrate our birthday mean we make our birthday a happy occasion right similarly let's move to number b what is new mean new no new right so what is it okay yes new means i already knew him can you make a guess yes that means recognized. Okay, now number C. Wait. Very easy, right? So you must have guessed already. What is that? All right, hold on. Hold on. Is wait. Number D. Going to. Going to is. Okay, what is the right answer? Hmm, good about to leave and number e amounts means quantities okay let me clap for those who have guessed all answers correctly one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five yay we have completed number a exercise similarly we are going to Exercise B. Okay, let's go to exercise B. What is there? Okay, answer the following questions. Okay, we have six questions. Where was the restaurant? We have to find out the particular place. Where was the restaurant? Number B. 
why did the writer like the restaurant okay there were reasons right we discussed in the diagram form as well why did he like that so the reasons particular reasons you have to write over here number c why did he not book a table before they uh, ordered why did he or um, booked the table reason you have to particular reason you have to write number d were the tourists already in the restaurant when they arrived were they already inside or they came after they arrived so what was the situation clear that situation number e what food did they order did they get did they get the food they order or not number f did the speaker and his friends want to eat an omelette what do you think why okay this one uh, the last question is quite it's we do not find answer exactly in the text but we have to use our own imagination okay we have to use our own imagination or you can guess we just predict we just guess the answer let's start with number a okay number a here is the number a where was the restaurant where was the restaurant so we find where do we find answer of this question right in the first paragraph right so let me show you the paragraph okay not the whole paragraph the chunk of uh, sentences are here which line okay let me show you the line over here for your convenience okay here the choose a restaurant in a quiet part where was the restaurant that means the answer is a quiet part of the town okay so this is a just um, point of answer the clue is there so, uh, uh, cue, clue is there you have to write you can write the full sentence okay yourself you can write full sentence answer yourself then let's move to number b are you ready with that i hope you are okay number b what was the question do you remember okay why did the writer like the restaurant why did he like that okay there were two reasons right so this is also somewhere right in the first paragraph right okay i know you are very quick and you have found it so where is it where is it come on come on let's guess where is the answer okay let's underline it one of my favorite okay like mean it's favorite right favorite like restaurant because because okay because the food is good and waiters are friendly these this is the uh, central idea main thing main uh, answer good food waiters are friendly favorite one because the food shop there is good and waiters are friendly okay so we are done with number b let's quickly move to number c so what is number c question number c why did he not book a table before they ordered okay actually if we are uh, going to celebrate our any occasion in the restaurant or going to a restaurant visiting restaurant it's better to book table before but he did not book that right so why didn't he uh, book the restaurant what was the reason there was reason right we discussed earlier earlier so what was that reason let's find it out in the paragraph okay so here somewhere here you find it is one of my favorite restaurant because the food is good and waiters are friendly already talked about it it is hardly ever crowded because few people know about it don't you think the answer lies over here in these lines uh-huh let's see the underline yes okay so the answer is it is hardly ever crowded as people few people know about it only few people know about it hardly crowded uh, not so crowded right that's why no need to write your thought no need to book the table it always uh, it is vacant so no why should he book the table uh, earlier 
he th thought so and took his friends. Now we are moving to number D. Are you ready with that? I hope you are ready. Let's move to question D. Here it goes. Number D. Where were the tourists already in the restaurant when they arrived? Okay, the tourists were already inside or they came later on. We will find it out after reading this this one. Okay. When we entered the restaurant, I was surprised to find it completely full. I looked around, but not a single table was free. One of the waiter recognized he came across and explained the situation. Okay, the situation, the answer lies in the situation, right? So what was it? Let's underline. Aha, uh -huh, yes. A party of tourists came half an hour ago. So yes, that means yes, half an hour ago, the tourists were already in inside. Half an hour ago means before they arrive, a group of tourists was already in the restaurant. So that was the situation. Number E. Now let's move to number E. What is the question? What food did they order? Did they get the food they ordered? Okay, what did they order? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I advised my friends about the best dishes and finally the uh, writer went off. The answer lies somewhere here, right? Yes. They ordered best dishes. Did they get it? Okay, so they, uh, the waiter was full of apologies mean? Uh-huh, they did not get best dishes. They ordered the best dishes, but no, they did not get them because the waiter came with apologies. That means they did not get it. Now, only one question left, that is number F. What is that? Did the speaker and his friends want to eat an omelette? What do you think? Why? Okay, this one be is based on your own opinion. Okay, you can give your own opinion as we do not find it exactly in the text. So, uh, okay, my answer is like this. They did not want... They did not want, actually they, they ordered something related to fish and meat, which was over already, uh, but um, they did not want, they finally uh, might order, because, but, they, but they finally might order, because they must be hungry, okay, they were there for the dinner, they must be hungry, and finally they might have ordered even omelette that was just my guess you can put your own view for this question okay this is open now we are moving to exercise c and what is that let's see number exercise c say why okay so here are some situations and according to the situations you have to give reason why okay give reasons and uh, we have gone through the text now we know each and every conditions so we are here to uh, just tell just give reason why okay let's give reason of why number a the writer invited some uh, friends out to supper okay why did he invite it what was the occasion aha uh -huh, yes he, it was his birthday and he wanted to celebrate it with his friends. That was the reason. Yes. So, uh, as answer we can write the reason is to celebrate his birthday. So, you can write your answer in this uh, like this in a short form. To celebrate his birthday simply the reason number B. He choose, the res uh, choose that restaurant. Okay. So somehow we have already discussed this, this as well. Now we are able to give answer of this question, this situation as well. Why did he choose that restaurant? Oh, yes. Because the, that was his favorite restaurant 
simply you can give this region or uh, you can write it for longer as well because the food was served, uh, good food was served there and it was um, the waiters were friendly. You can add more points to it to this um, to this situation or you can just write it was his favorite so he chose that a restaurant. Moving to number C, the restaurant was full that evening. Why was it full? Yes, a party of, a party of, yes, a party of tourists had come there, right? A party of tourists was there, that's why the restaurant was full that evening. Okay, this was the region. Two more questions left. The writer, number D, the writer and his friends were able to get a table after 15 minutes. So, when they entered, the restaurant was packed, full. There was no table left, right? Then, how did they get table after 15 minutes, right? They got table after 15 minutes. How did they get? Do you remember the situation? Oh, yes, they got the table, the table at the corner because, yes, the people, the people at the corner left, the people at the corner left and they replaced, they, they go, went and sit there. Number E, finally, the situation is the waiter didn't come to their table for nearly an hour. An hour they sat there without being served. No food came to them. No waiter came to them. It was a really boring situation. Why? Why did they face that boring situation? What was the reason? We have to give that particular reason over here. What was it? Yes, the tourists were the waiters. The waiters were busy. Yes, the waiters were busy serving the tourist mm, okay two more situation left again two more situation left look at here number f the writer was able to advise his friends about the food why did he why could they why could he uh, suggest advise the food what, how he was able to suggest that yes the restaurant maybe the Yes, the, maybe the writer uh, had visited the restaurant before. He knew that area. That's why he could, he knew what was available speciality over there, special thing over there. So, he could suggest. He had already been there. He took his friends to there. That means he knew already, right? Okay, another situation. Let's move to another situation. Number G, the waiter who took their order came back and apologized. Said sorry. Apologize means sorry. He, he came, waiter came and um, he, he said sorry. What was the reason? Yes, the reason was no food left. The food was over. That's why uh, the waiter was sorry. Okay, did you guess the same regions? I hope so. Okay, let me clap for all of you once again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, thank you all of you. We have gone through reading second, right? The reading second, and then we have gone through all the exercise uh, text a party at a restaurant and we came to know about the how was the writer's birthday celebration how did he celebrate his birthday taking his friends to a restaurant uh, and faced a very awkward situations how he was you know felt sorry uh, taking his friends to the restaurant and not booking the not booking the table beforehand so, 
before visiting any restaurant uh, and if you are going to celebrate something over there it's it's compulsory to book table beforehand and know the situation beforehand so how you would not be suffer later on right and then we have already done all the exercises vocabulary works and then question and answer and also we uh, we get we explain some situations giving our own reason okay we have come to the end of today's class that's all for today thank you namaste